So in this question, I'm given this cuboid, which I can see in the diagram, and I'm told some information about it. So I'm told here that the length AB is going to be 7.3 centimetres. So I can label that up to begin with here, 7.3 centimetres. And because I'm working with the cuboid, I also know that the length DC, EH and FG are all going to be equal to AB. They're all going to be 7.3 centimetres. Similarly, for CH being 8.1 centimetres, I'm going to label that up. And I also know that ED, FA and GB back here are all 8.1 centimetres also. So it's really important to label up the diagram before we get started with the question, just so we can see exactly what we're working with and visualise these numbers a bit more clearly. I'm then told that angle BCA is equal to 48 degrees. Now if I have a look, the angle BCA is this angle in here, and I can draw that in if I draw the line AC in. This angle here, this angle BCA, and that's 48 degrees. I'm then asked to find the size of the angle between AH and the plane ABCD, so this rectangular face at the bottom, and I'm asked to give my answer correct to one decimal place at the end here. So I'm also just going to draw in the angle that I'm trying to find, just so that I can see how I might plan a strategy to go about finding it. So if I draw in the line AH, and the angle that I want to find is between the line AH and this line here, AC, which is basically the plane here. So I need to find this angle and give it to one decimal place. Now also here, I've noticed that because I'm working with a cuboid, the angles in the corners, so this angle here, this angle here, etc., are all going to be right angles, they're going to be 90 degree angles. And that comes in really useful when making a right angled triangle. Because if this angle here is a 90 degree right angle, that means that the triangle ABC is going to be a right angled triangle. So if I draw the triangle ABC out again, just to make it a bit easier to work with, we have the right angle obviously, and then we have the angle BCA, which is 48 degrees. We also have the side length AB, which is 7.3 centimetres. Now, in order to find the angle we're looking for, we can, sim we can use this triangle to work with it in order to find this angle here. So if we were to know the length of AC, this angle here between the plane and the line CH, that's also going to be a right angle because we're working with a cuboid. So we'll then have another right angle triangle of which we'll know this side length and this side length, AC, so we'll be able to calculate this angle using trigonometry. So this basically means that I'm looking to find the, the length of the side AC. So in order to calculate AC, I'm going to have to use trigonometry on the triangle ABC. So if we're working with, if I draw this out again, this angle is 48 degrees, and this side 7.3, we basically need to find AC, which relative to the angle is the hypotenuse, and then this side's the opposite, so we're working with the opposite and hypotenuse, so we're working with sine, so sine of the angle, so sine of 48, is equal to the opposite, which is 7.3, over the hypotenuse, which is this length AC. So AC is going to be equal to 7.3 divided by sine of 48, and that gives us an answer of 9.8231, just to four decimal places there. Now that I've got the length AC, I can now use it to work out this angle that we're looking to calculate. So I can draw out the other triangle that we're working with, so the triangle AHC. We're looking to calculate this angle here. We know that CH is 8.1 centimetres, and we now know that AC 
is 9.8231, but we'd use the exact value in our calculators there. So now relative to this angle, we have the opposite side and the adjacent. So O and A, we're working with tan. So tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the 8.1 divided by 9.8231 exact value there. So theta is going to be equal to the inverse tan of this value. And if we put that into our calculators, it gives us an answer here of 39.508. And we've been asked to give this answer to one decimal place. So to gain the final mark here, I'm going to give my final answer of 39.5. Now, as for how each of the marks are awarded here, we would gain the first mark for starting a process to try and work out some of this some one of these sides or angles. So for this line of working here, that would gain us a mark. The second mark would be for a complete correct process to find the length AC, which we've done here in this second line. The next mark would be for using tan to find the angle that we're looking for. So for basically writing this line here, and then the final mark is going to be for this correct answer of 39.5 given to this one decimal place using the inverse of tan here. And that is, brings us to the end of this question, for which there are four marks available, so it is important to draw the diagrams and show your working throughout the question.